Right, lawnmower number two of the day. Now this has got pretty much the same problem as the first one. For those of you who remember, I picked up a little tiny job lot of lawnmowers. Um, I picked up uh, two mowers and a strimmer, and this is a mount for one. I've just done a video on uh, a Cobra, and I think this has got roughly the same problem. This has got um, a throttle problem on it as well, or cable problem, one or the other. I'm hoping to just fix the cable, that fix the problem. And if you can do that, then um, this mower is thrown away because the cable had just malfunctioned slightly. So hopefully we can fix it. If this is the first time you're watching Mixed Mowers and Mower Man, hit the subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all, that way you'll be told next time up in another video. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty. Let's work on this Mountfield HP 42R that is failing to start due to a small cable fault. Okay, so here it is, little Mountfield HP 42R. Um, this has got the rear roller on in this one, uh, very nice indeed. Uh, these sell quite well to be fair, but they don't come up very often, so that's why I nabbed it. Um, and the problem I got with it is I've had it running, but just here, right there, when I move that when I move that about, this cable here, see that there? It's just a bit a bit knackered. So you need to take the throttle box off of this to figure out why it's doing that. So that'd just be a Phillips and a 10mm the other side. In fact, remove the throttle box and hopefully we don't have to replace a cable. We've just got to um, tidy the cable up. So let's see me a quick little fix. Hopefully it can. Right, mower's up on the bench and we're good to rock and roll. Let me find that screwdriver I had earlier on this morning because uh, that'll be the one I want. Uh, Phillips, oh, I'm done with it now. Here it is. So a little Phillips screwdriver. I might want, might want to turn me off the back of it, but it may hold itself. Yeah, it'll hold itself. So under this little tiny Phillips. Now these you can buy, the throttle box you can buy. I think I actually had one, but I don't think it's a throttle box issue. I think it's actually a cable issue. Take that bolt out, take the box off. That cable there, which would be a dead man, that'll come out from inside there. That will then, will then release your, your cable. So, up in here, get rid of that nut. Up in here is your throttle assembly. You've just got to split this open now. There you go. And I'll show you what's up with it. And all it is, it's a very, very simple little fix. Now, this does happen quite a lot, to be fair. I've seen it quite a bit. Let me zoom you in. Let me zoom it in as far as I can without going too blurry. Uh, about there. Right, so all that's happened is this little top hat has just slid off of its off of its seat, that's all, it's, that's all it is. So that comes off of there, that's level with that, second hold down, we know where that goes. Take that off. So all we've got to do is just try and get this to sit down a bit tighter over on top of that cable, all the way down, it's nearly there, and then just give it a bit of a squeeze. Once that's in place, we'll be good to go. So I'm gonna get a little pair of pliers, I think. I'll try a little pair of pliers. And all I want to do is literally just put my pliers over top of that and tap that down so it's where it needs to be. It's going to be about there. So now it's actually on, on, on its point, just there, okay? Just there. It's on its point and uh, you can now see that that's where it needs to be. So now, a bit of a squeeze going on. It's on armoured cable, so it won't hurt. Just a bit of a squeeze there. And a bit of a squeeze there. They're only crimped on, like so. And that, that should hold that. Well, it didn't, okay. It didn't. Let's go again. So what I can also do, I can just, just try and crimp it with a a pair of uh, 
um, not Nipex, because Nipex is just snap it. So you'll get a blunt pair of snippers, which I have loads of those. And then, by crimping it, we'll give it more of a, more of a bite. That's got it. That's got him. Yeah, that's got it. So it's actually crimped it now. Look, I don't know if you can see that. It's actually crimped it. Okay. Uh, much, a much better fit. Is that going to focus on me or not? There you go. So it's actually crimped it in place. So now what we can do is we can bring in our control and it was second one down, wasn't it? It was in there somewhere. We're bringing this one. That's my cable end. And make sure that these snap, you see, that's what happens. These snap just here. Let me show you. Yep. These snap just there, you see that? But they give you two goes at it. So you get one on the other side as well. So now, that's not going to there. That cable onto there. I'm going to now put this one, second hole down. And it's now we fit it back to front. Not really a matter. But then you've got to fit it so it'll be on the top. It's got to fit inside this groove, you see. That's where it's got to go. It's got to go in that groove just there. Got to sit into there. Tip that round. That goes onto there. Not quite in that groove yet, is it? You see what I mean? It's not quite in that groove. It's got to come out. Out and in that groove. Might get a pair of pliers just to straighten that little top hat up. Just a bit fiddly, but we can do this, guys. I'd much rather fiddle about with this for 10 minutes than have to wait wait about a week and a half for parts to come in. Because parts are a bit tricky to get hold of. So that's a good one. That goes in there. That's gonna go around like that. That's lovely. I'm now gonna get me my arm. Second one in, onto there, all the way around. Come on, baby, onto there, onto there. That should now work. That does work. That's lush. I'm going outside of that cable. Be nice. We're now going to change it round because it's now back to front. You see, so that cable then can go round onto that one. Onto there, onto there, bring it round. Something like that, how do we like that? That looks good, eh? So now the, now the frocks are on the outside, not the inside, okay? Let me zoom it out a touch, you're not getting a great deal of that, are you? I thought you was all zoomed in. So now I'm gonna put it on the outside. We can't put it on the inside because the, uh, we've had to change change the orientation round. What do I do with that, um, that outer casing to that, uh, in my pocket? That one there, that can then go onto there. That all clips on, look at that. And just find a little nut and bolt. Uh, slide that in. There's the hole. There it is, make sure, make sure that pulls. That pulls lovely. Do that up a touch. Get your screwdriver, let's bring you guys back a touch more. That's better. I can now nick that up. So that's a good thing with these throttle boxes, you can reverse them. And put them on the outside. I can do that up, nice and tight. Not too tight though. Like that. So now, that's a bit too tight, see, so just, just come off a touch. Because these lights are snap, you see. Okay. All right, so now we've got a throttle box now fully working and a dead man's handle fully working. So now, there should be nothing to stop working, this machine working, stopping, starting, doing what it should do. That's all it was in for. So somebody threw that away purely because the throttle box cable had come out of its, out of its housing, just slipped. And now it fully works. So hopefully we could have saved this little lawnmower. This lawnmower is also in for service. So I want to get on to a little service too. But first of all, 
Just want to make sure it stops, starts and runs as it should do. Right, so let's just try and fire it up because last time it wouldn't, uh, I, had to set the, I had to set the throttle by hand to choke it. So choke is now which way around, Mick, because it might be back to front. So that's off choke and that's showing choke. So that's now choking that way, so all the way forward. So all we've got to do is remove the sticker up the top end because you can't change that around. That's one thing they didn't do on here. They didn't change that around. So, so choke is all the way forward. Let's um, pull it out of touch and get a bit of pull, see what happens. It should start straight up. So there you go. Someone threw it away because the cable just wasn't quite working right and I've managed to fix that inside, I don't know, what was that, five minutes? Let's go on the service and get this mower finished. Right, so super happy with that. We now have an up and running lawnmower because someone just threw it away because just couldn't investigate. Investigate the reason why the machine wasn't running. So all we're gonna need is a brand new air filter. That was seven pound. That's all we need for that. Carburetor's absolutely fine. No dramas there. New air filter. I wanna check the blade, I wanna check the oil. Let's check the oil now. See what that looks like. Give it a little bit of a wipe off and see how we're getting on. very low in oil, and it all doesn't look brilliant either. So I'm gonna remove the oil, what, what oil there is in there, and put an oil change on it before we tip it up to do the, um, the blade anyway, because the blade wants to be done as well. So let me uh, turn the machine around so I can get the oil out of it. I'll be back to you in two shakes. Right, I want a cup of coffee. And I've got a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee, as my American friends would say. Hmm. Right, so. We're going to tip the lawnmower back. I've got a little screw down here, which I use quite a lot. Little screw, tip the machine back, sits under that screw just there. Ooh, don't go nowhere. And that way, it's tipped far enough back for me to put my oil extraction thing in here. And because it's tipped back, I can get all the oil out. I tip that all out, get rid of all that. Do not turn this machine on its side. This will damage the engine, it says here. For cleaning tips, please refer to the owner's manual. <clears throat> now, there's a lot of grass underneath here and all. That needs, to be, that needs to come out. Now, if you're interested about where to get one of these extraction pumps from, I got them on my um, tools that I use comments, in my comment section and also on my about page. So if you want one of these extraction pumps, there's a link to those, they're brilliant, there's no mess. You can tip a lawnmower up on its side, of course, to do it, but always make sure you tip it up, carburetor side up, and make sure the machine's not hot when you do it. You know, run it up for a bit, then stop the machine and take the HT lead out. <coughs> Off, sorry. So that's it all now, all extracted. This has been, um, what year is this? 2014 model. Okay, <coughs> so that's all the oil out. These are brilliant, these extraction pumps. If you've not got one, I recommend one. I do recommend them. They are brilliant. I'll remove the HT lead off now. Should have done it earlier on, guys. Yeah, I know, bite me. <coughs> okay, that's off. And it's got an NGK spark plug in there, which is good. I need to change it anyway. I want to now remove the, um, the doodad, whatever doodad is. I want to remove the, um, the blade, because that's got to be sharpened and balanced. So I'll be selling this machine as fully serviced, so. Uh, I want a 14 mil, which I think is that one. Pardon me, that's 13. Coffee's making me belch. All right, let's remove the old... Remove the blade. That can come off and be sharpened. It's not too bad, but it wants doing, and I want to get in here with my grass buster 
and remove all this grass in here because it's not doing any favors it's sat in here loads of grass in here get it all tidied up put it all back in get the blade sharp and balanced have a right old tidy up uh, clean it all off and what have you and then uh, pull cord is fine new spark plug to go in we'll be pretty much there you know this, this, this is a quick little service it's carburetor don't need doing which is great so let me get the blade sharp and bounce quickly, get that put back on, quick tie off underneath here and put it back onto its wheels. I'll meet you back. <laughs> right, blade sharp and balance, now all done. So that's good. We can put that back on, right way up, Mick, does it. I've had a bit of a, a bit of a tidy up underneath here as well. So we're not gonna be missing, um, oh, we've got any dirt underneath there, so. I'm happy with the appearance of it. Uh, new, new air filter's gone in. Got to put a new spark plug in there. Got to put some more oil in there now. Pull cord's absolutely fine. So it's just a bit of a remedial service, really, because the bulk of it is, the bulk of it is pretty good. As I say, it should sell for good money. Height control all works as it should do. Goes right down low too, because it is a roller mower. The moth in there. Uh, nothing untoward in there. All happy. Back looks pretty good. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a good to go. It's good to go with this machine, so I'm happy with it. So let me get some oil in there. Now add some oil, here it is. Got some, got some oil, the cap's not put on, I, I nearly dropped a whole thing of oil then. That would have been hilarious, because oil's not very cheap at the moment. Where's me, um, where's me oil funnel? There it is. Excuse the uh, shot on my backside. All right, there you go. Funnel in there. Let's give that a bit of a clean mix. I don't want to introduce any any foreign matter in there. And we'll go for about 400 mil at first, give or take. So that goes in there. Uh, what we've got in there? Uh, about 900. I'll go to about five, six, sorry. A bit more than that, mate. Six hundred. So it always it always pays to to do all these little extra bits. You see, because this is what sells a machine. If you put on there blade sharp and balance, spark plug changed, pull cord checked, even if you haven't even if you haven't changed it, put that you've checked it, and what have you. These these machines sell for good money. If you just sell a, a thing on on uh, on eBay or Facebook, wherever you sell your stuff, lawn mower for sale, come and get it. Um, you know, you're only ever going to get what you're going to get for it. Um, but if you put on me, you've actually taken a bit of time to sort of look over the machine, then people like that. You know, they, 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 like, they like the fact you've actually taken the time to... They want to buy something that's going to last them, which is good. I want to sell them one that wants to last as well. So we're in the same boat, aren't we? Just removing all the grass. Now, I can't actually use my compressor at the moment because my compressor is down. It should go back to SGS because it's failed. Uh, it's on a two-year warranty. It goes up to around about, around about uh, four bar of pressure. Oh, sorry, uh, yeah, about four bar of pressure, I think. Is it four bar? I can't remember now. Um, what's it go up to? It goes up to around about, uh, yeah, about, about four bar of pressure, and that's it. That's as far as it goes. So I don't know good to know one. Is it, is it empty now, Mick? Yeah, completely empty yet. Yeah. So I can't use my air compressor, which is annoying. So let's let that oil just drain down whilst I'm just tidying up the machine. Once I tie the machine up, I'll check the oil again. Top it up up to the level, because there's a minimum and maximum line. But whilst I'm doing that, just cleaning this lawnmower up. Just so it looks good for the photograph. That's what I want. It's good for the photograph. And hopefully it'll fetch a, a pretty penny. Because uh, this mower sold to me is non-running. I've now done a 10 minute, 10 minute fix on it. A little tiny service. And now I can now set it as fully running and fully serviced. That's where the money is. So let me get the um, the oil topped off, and um, we'll go outside, fire it back up, make sure it all runs, does what it should do, and we'll go from there. Okay, Mountfield HP 42R now all up and running, all because the top hat on the cable has stepped off, and we got it fully running. Super happy. 
So it's had a, a new air filter. Um, it's had low sharp and balance. It's had uh, all change. Pull cord is fine. Throttle box fixed. Good to go. It's a lovely little machine with a rear roller as well. What's not to like? Okay, so that's a Manfold HP42R now all up and running. Uh, a bit of a confession though, when I was, tr uh, it was on its test, when it went down to idle and up to full revs again, it kept sort of stalling out. So I've since then brought it back in and um, overhauled the car, right? I get a bit of a clean and the slow idle circuit and the main jet and the emulsion tube had a little bit of um, ethanol in there. So good old clean up. And now when you start it up on to choke, it runs, full throttle it chokes, throttle it all the way down to, to tick over, leave it for a second or two straight onto full throttle again, and it picks up and runs lovely, so that, that solved that little issue there. So just want to let you know, but uh, I put it in as well, but I didn't actually record it, but uh, just information purposes only. So it's like a sort of video of Mixed Mars and Merman, where I repaired the tiny cable inside about five or 10 minutes, where it cost absolutely nothing, and someone threw that little mail away, it's absolutely crazy. And hit the old subscribe button, whack the old bell, set the notification to all, that way you'll be told next time I upload another video. I look forward to this episode of Mixed Mars very, very soon, but until then guys and girls, much more importantly, take care easy.